Hello. In this video, we're going to look at VNet peering in Azure. Now, this is relatively uh, a new new concept for virtual networking in Azure, although the feature's been around for a few months now. Uh, prior to this, if you wanted to connect two VNets together, we created VNet to VNet connections. And these were really useful if you had VNets in, uh, in different regions, uh, companies merging together, VNets in the same region, uh, or if you had classic VNets and VNets, you could configure them and connect them together using VNet to VNet connections. Now, a VNet to VNet connection is essentially a site to site connection. So you have to create gateway subnets on the two VNets. You have to create uh, virtual network gateways um, on the two, on the two uh, VNets. Then you connect the gateways together. Once you then configure the routing options, happy days, everything works. Now, the thing with VNet to VNet connections are, is you're using those gateways. So you're paying for gateway hours and then that costs you money. VNet peering is designed to remove the need for the gateways. So we can connect two VNets together without the gateways or without that expense. The downside is the VNets have to be in the same region. It won't work across regions. For that, you'll still need VNet to VNet connections. But it works between ARM VNets and ARM and classic VNets uh, as well. So let's configure this. Uh, in my console here, I've got VNet 3, VNet 4. I'm going to peer these two together and look at some of the configuration options. Starting off with uh, VNet 3. So if I click on VNet 3, and for VNet 3, we can see the subnets here. I've got this new peering section. So if I click on the peering section and say add to create a new peering. Now we'll be asked basic configuration information uh, about the peering, so we'll give it a name. We'll call this VNet 3 to 4. Uh, we'll be asked whether we're peering with a um, resource manager or a classic VM, uh, sorry, classic uh, virtual network. If you know the, the, the VNet ID, you can specify the ID number, the resource ID number here. This is really useful if you're connecting to a VNet in a different subscription. And with VNet peering, just like VNet to VNet connections, you can connect to a VNet in a different subscription. Uh, my VNet's obviously the same subscription, so I don't need to provide the resource ID. Instead, I just choose a virtual network that I would like to peer with. I would like to peer with VNet4. Now, I want to enable uh, access uh, between VNet3 and VNet4. And there's some, some, some cool new features available to us uh, as well. One of the options we have here is to allow gateway transit. So I've got an, uh, a virtual network gateway configured in VNet3. It's not required for VNet peering, but imagine a situation where you've got VNet3 that's got a gateway. Uh, that gateway is connecting to on-premise across a site-to-site -site link or maybe across express route. Um, and you've got a second VNet without a gateway that's, that you want to be a little bit isolated, but you still want to route traffic through gateway for the gateway that um, VNet3's got configured in this case. Well. That we've not been able to do that before. We don't think that we've not been able to configure these transit type networks. By ticking this box here, we're saying that the peered network that we're about to peer with can use our gateway to access um, our on premise site to site uh, networks. So we give a name, we say the network on a peer with, I'll say allow it to use my gateway to transit through, and we say OK. Now with um, VNet peering, if you're peering two ARM VNets together, then you have to set up both sides the link. So if I refresh the screen here, uh, once the peering gets added, we just refresh the screen, and the peering oops, should appear just here. Um, we've now got to configure the other side. If we were peering a um, ARM to classic, the classic peering just appears. Uh, once you, you accept the you accept the peering connection request, and it will just appear. So let's just take a look to make sure that one side of the peering has been added. So we've got VNet three there. Peering, you can see that peering to be initiated, but not yet enabled. It will stay in that initiated state until I do, do the other side of the connection. So let's go to uh, VNet four now. So we'll find the resource group. Uh, 
we'll find vnet4. And again, we'll go to pairing link on vnet4. Pairing section. So here on the pairing section, there's nothing yet. So we'll say add. And we'll call this uh, vnet4. So three. Again, resource manager. Again, we choose the vnet I want to pair with. So vnet three. And this time, because I want to take advantage of that uh, site to site gateway that's configured on vnet four, I'll say use remote gateway as well. This allow me to use the remote gateway on the peer side of the network. So if we say OK here. It's take a minute just to add this side of the link and it'll take another minute just to come up and basically that's it. Uh, I've got a peering connection once once this this finishes, I've got a peering connection between these two virtual networks and this works now for all the different subnets in those virtual networks. So if you want to set up restrictions between the subnets, then you'll be looking to add uh, network security groups. Here they've got peering connected. So that's on VNet three. If we go back to VNet so VNet4, if we go back to VNet3, and look at peerings there, it should now say connected. Happy days. So all we'd have to do now is deploy virtual machines to those two, and they, the virtual machines on the two different VNets will be able to chat to each other. Um, and importantly as well, the uh, machines in VNet4 will be able to use the gateway that's attached directly to VNet3 to get out to on-premise. Now you can test this if you want. Um, in the previous video, we discussed um, setting up a point-to-site connection um, using VNet3 and using self-generated certificates. So if you take a look at that video, and you can use that to set up, uh, run, use that video first, run through setting up the gateway, and then look at this one, and then you'll be able to set up the full uh, test uh, environment. Thank you.